everybody. Whatever you're fighting with, you're fighting over the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Just wait till God open up your understanding. Wait for him. I know you've been baptized wrong. Practically the whole world. That's right. Father, Son, and Holy That's Ghost, you misunderstood what Jesus said. That's right. The preachers misunderstood him. Your priests misunderstood him. Priest. Your bishop misunderstood him. That's right. Your pastor misunderstood him. Your so-called apostle misunderstood him. That's right. All these modern-day prophets misunderstood him. Somebody got so mad at the message during the convention, they post, they say you preach with no substance. Prophet, <laughs> some prophet, prophet lovely, got revelation. I don't care if prophet lovely or prophet <laughs> smiley. That's, That's right. right. If lovely don't repent, don't repent and be baptized in water right. in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. and if lovely don't <laughs> receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, yes. and if lovely don't walk with the doctrine of the apostles, right. lovely going to land in hell. That's, That's right. right. Now love that. Peace. Welcome to another episode of the Sea Rock Smooth Show on its juicy tv where the truth is told and the truth is gold we are back god didn't make you to chase women no. god didn't make you to chase men no. god didn't make you to be lazy no. that's right god didn't make you to beat women no. god didn't make you to steal no. god didn't make you to rape no. God didn't make you to arch your eyebrows. No. God didn't make you to put gold on your teeth. No. God didn't make you to switch like ease. No. Peace, Apostle. Go ahead, brother. God didn't make you to kiss another man. No. God didn't make you to marry another man. No. God didn't make you to get on your knees and put your mouth on another man. No. Ooh -la, ooh -la. If you didn't already know, the true army is the army of God Almighty. To learn how to join this army, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, go visit www.truthofgod.com. Once again, www.truthofgod.com. And for baptism, call 1-888-231-2201. Once again, for baptism, 1-888-231-2201. God wants you. He said we are not consumed. Yes. Because his compassions fail not. Yes. They are new every morning. They are new every morning. Great yes. is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion. <laughs> Amen. Great. Great is thy faithfulness. God is faithful. Yes, he is. I bear witness. God is faithful. God is faithful. You know, people will let you down, but God won't. No, he won't. Amen. I thank God for that. In my 40 years of pastoring people, I've been let down so many times I don't have enough limbs to count. <laughs> Amen. Until I'm not surprised when I am. That's right. But God Almighty have never let me down never. since I've been on this planet. Wonderful. That's why I can't. I can never sing the song. I can never sing the song. He never failed me yet. Yes. He never failed me. I can't put it yet next no. to him. No. He just can't fail at all. That's right. He just can't fail at all. That's right. What did he say? Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Yes. Therefore will I hope in him will i hope in him in him the book of lamentations chapter 3 and verse 25 the lord is good unto them that wait for him to the soul that seeketh him may the lord jesus be glorified eternally um uh, esther can you refresh youtube for me please Oh, thank you. So, as you can see, he's uh, getting ready. To, he's preaching. He's getting ready to preach with his hat on. Uh, this is obviously a scriptural violation. Uh, a man that's supposed to be preaching is not supposed to have his head covered. Uh, so this is the first mistake. Uh, let's take a look at what happens. Uh, someone in the audience is going to actually tell him, like, what are you doing? Like, dude, take that off. 
you know it's 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 not it's not righteous let's continue um the other day i taught you about being led by the word the lamp of god which is the word on your feet the spirit of god leading you going ahead of you and walking in the power of the spirit now as i've shown you in the past uh lovey says he doesn't believe in being led by the word of god so now we have a situation where uh, he's now showing more signs of being double-minded let's take a look at the scripture about being double-minded all right the book of james chapter 1 verse 8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways let's continue you know when people speak about and this is the sad part about the state of the church is that we have people who have zero experience in the presence of god you can have experience in the scriptures some of the greatest world scholars of scriptures are not even believers but they've read it front to back they have studied it there is nothing spiritual about them they will tell you well uh, the account of the bible is consistent no one is contradicting each other but they don't believe in it so having scripture doesn't mean you have been in his presence because the so that that was his response uh to me in apostle so he says we have no experience in the presence of god that is laughable uh but let's continue secrets of god are not discovered in scripture secrets of god are not discovered in scripture oh, oh. what what <laughs> you know when people speak about and this is the sad part about the state of the church is that we have people who have zero experience in the presence of god you can have experience in the scriptures some of the greatest world scholars of scriptures are not even believers but they've read it front to back they have studied it there is nothing spiritual about them they will tell you well uh, the account of the bible is consistent if you have no experience in his presence you are technically not qualified to talk this is why for me i find it like very much an abomination when children who have been saved maybe even let's say 10 years you want to talk against fathers who have been walking with god 40 years who when you are still in your diapers they were serving god do you realize the lord jesus only spoke to the father the real the real abomination and embarrassment is that this man still has his head covered while he's supposed to be quote unquote teaching and preaching let's continue Pharisees, in a manner that only the pharisees knew he was responding to them he never shamed them because he understood their assignment even though they may have corrupted some of their ways he never discredited them he never stood against them in fact he went to those synagogues and he will heal so what he's saying is you shouldn't go you shouldn't come against a person who is not behaving in a manner that is pleasing to god you shouldn't come against them you should continue to let them be in leadership you should continue to give all your money to them but never come against them where is that in the scriptures i've never read that actually the scripture says open rebuke is better than secret love let's see let's take a look at this real quick proverbs chapter 27 verse 5 open rebuke is better than secret love so once again this is another example how lovey is not in the book he's in his own mind he's in his own gospel and he's teaching people what he wants them to know and he has this smooth delivery you because you have to remember revelation is progressive revelation doesn't change it is progressive i believed a woman wearing pants is bad 
But now I have understood wearing pants is no different than God is not looking at that. Now, I'm not saying that's my belief. I'm saying, but the belief must change because you are realizing like this. What has this got to do with salvation? This, what has this got to do with salvation? Oh, oh. what? What? <laughs> See? See how he comes up there? See how cunning he is? See how he just openly spoke in, out against the dress code that God had for us. And then what did they say? Yeah. Yeah, why don't we, why can't we keep wearing our pants? Yeah. Who cares what God said? That's old. He said that a long time ago, girl. I, I bet you he, he don't think that. He don't think like that no more. We can wear jeans. I know, I know they for men, but we can wear men's jeans and cross dress and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's all about my heart. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Do you hear that? Lamentations 3 and verse 25. The Lord is good unto them. Is good unto them. Unto them. That wait for him. Hallelujah. Do you hear that? That's right. The Lord is good to them. That wait for him. That wait. Wait. For him. Wait for him. Wait for him. Notice, viewers, it didn't say wait for them. Wait for him. You that serving all these gods, all these gods. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, three in one. It ain't no Bible talk, that foolishness. No. The very first commandment is hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one. One Lord. That's right. Just one. That's right. The word of God says what? The Lord is good unto them. The Lord is good unto them that wait that for him. Wait on him wait for him uh, to the soul that seeketh him to the soul that seek him it is good it is good that a man should both hope that a man should both hope and quietly wait and quietly wait for the salvation of the lord for god's salvation that's right you hear that bill it is good so i advise everybody everybody whatever you're fighting with you're fighting over the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Just wait till God open up your understanding. Wait for him. I know you've been baptized wrong. Practically the whole world. That's right. Father, Son, and Holy That's Ghost, you me. misunderstood what Jesus said. That's right. The preachers misunderstood him. Your priest misunderstood priest. him. Your bishop misunderstood him. That's right. Your pastor misunderstood him. Your so-called apostle misunderstood him. That's right. All these modern-day prophets misunderstood him somebody got so mad at the message during the convention they post they say you preach with no substance prophet some prophet prophet lovely got revelation i don't care if prophet lovely or prophet <laughs> smiley that's, that's right. right if lovely don't repent don't repent and be baptized in water right. in the name of jesus christ yeah. and if lovely don't <laughs> receive the holy ghost speaking in tongues yes. and if lovely don't walk with the doctrine of the apostles right. lovely going to land in hell that's, that's right. right now love that somebody got so mad at the message during the convention they post they say you preach with no substance prophet Lo some prophet, prophet lovely got revelation. I don't care if prophet lovely or prophet <laughs> smiley. That's right. If lovely don't repent, don't repent. and be baptized in water right. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And if lovely don't <laughs> receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yes. And if lovely don't walk with the doctrine of the apostles. That's right. Lovely going to land in hell. That's, That's right. right. Now love that. Lovely going to land in hell. That's, That's right. right. Now love that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you Go know, ahead, apostle. Prophets take on all these fake names. <laughs> Prophet <laughs> Lovely and Lovely. Prophet Smiley and Prophet Nice Guy and all yes. like a bunch of wrestlers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Like a bunch of wrestlers, macho wrestling, all that. Nobody wants to hear that. No. God way is real. That's it. It ain't none of this phony stuff. No. Nope. This ain't church of mania. That's right. That's what do you think man. this is? <laughs> you think this is church of mania? That's right. They fake apostle. Ain't no WrestleMania here. <laughs> oh no. That's fake. That's, That's right. phony. That's right. 
You folk go to these churches because you want church of mania. <laughs> God said, my house, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all, for all people. people. That's right. Amen. God's church is built on Bible here. Amen. A gentleman named C Rock. Amen. Yeah, he called himself C Rock Smooth. Mm -hmm. Well, C Rock Smooth is tossing this hard, rough gospel out there. To all of my viewers that watch this program, also on the website of C Rock Smooth. C Rock Smooth went down in water today. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful. He called me up. He said, uh, Apostle, I am here. Ready to, is he here? Is it C Rock? There he is. There's C Rock. Glory to God. Amen. God bless you, brother.